Recipes for Technical Trading Success in Cook's Kitchen. Hey, Cooker here with a deep dive on AMD. I mean, what a week it's been since, uh, you know, last Friday, Intel drops a bomb. You know, they, they're not ready with 7 nanometer technology. AMD obviously is. Intel goes down 16%. AMD's up 16%. That was just Friday. Um, and then uh, into, uh, AMD reported last night on Tuesday uh, just amazing numbers. Um, so I made up this little uh, uh, meme this morning uh, to honor one of my colleagues who has owned AMD since $16 per share. And it's up like another 13% to 76 this morning. So in honor of uh, my colleague Dave Bartosiak, and we'll look at his, uh, his winner in a moment, I said, release the Ryzen. Ryzen, obviously, the, uh, the uh, awesome chips from, uh, from AMD that are going in laptops and PCs on a 7 nanometer scale that Intel couldn't do. Uh, let's look at this, this quarterly report because it's, uh, it's just stunning. So, uh, you know, nice beats, 12.5% uh, 12, 12 earnings beat. Uh, I think they beat 4% uh, on revenues, uh, but it was the guidance, just stunning guidance. Look at this. Okay, so for the third quarter, they're calling for 2.55 billion when the current estimate is like uh, 2.1 billion, I think. Um, and, you know, so anyway, it's, it, it's, it's going to be 42% year over year growth for the, uh, for the coming Q3 and 32% uh, uh, 32 sequential growth. So let's take a look at the estimates. Yeah, so this is the Zach's detailed estimates page. Um, we haven't updated because the analysts the analysts haven't updated, and we're going to look at how far the analysts are behind in a moment. So uh, when you're looking at uh, at Q3, the September quarter, this is really going to be a 42% year over year growth, uh, and the full year is going to come in at 32%. So you're going to see uh, all these estimates bump up. Obviously, that's why the stock is is soaring. Um, so let's go to let me just show you some of the headlines here uh, since since last night. So I showed you, you know, what AMD reported, um, if, you know, not just a, a really big beats, but huge guidance raise. So what how, how have the analysts reacted? Um, let's see. Uh, Susquehanna puts an eighty five dollar target. On AMD, so that's why it's it's up so big today. Uh, RBC goes, and I'm using the fly.com here. The fly.com is just a really great resource for getting, you know, uh, the analyst calls, um, and and you know they're right on top of it. Uh, you can't always read the stories if you're not a subscriber, but you can at least get the headline. Uh, so RBC goes to 84 bucks. Um, Mizuho goes to 77. You know, so those nice calls there, 84, 85, are why the stock is up so big. Uh, we're going to look, um, let's see, uh, BMO up to 70, Deutsche up to 75, Wedbush up to 85 from 75. So, you know, a lot of these banks were on top of it, and, you know, now they're going to 85 bucks. But look at this. Credit Suisse had a $33 price target on AMD coming into the report last night. They didn't see this coming at all. They must have, you know, been a buyer of Intel, too. They, so they raised from 33 to 75 um just way behind uh so that's you know that's where the analysts are that's why the stock is up um so let's take a look at um uh, well we want to see oh we want to look at the blockchain uh we want to look at the uh blockchain innovators portfolio here run by dave bartosiak uh and then we are going to look at some AMD presentations, because I want to just show you some slides so you can get a flavor. But you can do this yourself. You go to Investor Relations for AMD, look at their events and presentations. Um, <clears throat> this July uh, 22nd corporate presentation it has 75 slides in it. I'm going to show you a few of those. Uh, in April, they did a smaller investor presentation with only 28 slides. Uh, but it just shows you how, you know, they're eating Intel's lunch and they're keeping right up with NVIDIA in terms of serving um, the, the data centers and, you know, even the gaming chips. So here's a quick look at uh, Dave Bartosiak's uh, 
blockchain innovators. I just want to show you. So he's looking at a 368% gain this morning uh, since he first bought AMD in July of 2018. Um, you know, and he, he's obviously on NVIDIA for a little bit there too, did a nice scoop in NVIDIA. Uh, so I just wanted to give a shout there to my colleague, colleague Dave Bartosiak um, for, for just sticking with it, you know, and, and knowing what, what AMD was all about. So um, here's the big corporate presentation from AMD. Um, I'm gonna show you a few slides from that. Let, let me just go through the shorter investor presentation that uh, was from April. AMD is you know, right in it with NVIDIA in serving hyperscale cloud computing, supercomputing, AI, and obviously gaming. Uh, I'm trying to keep up with NVIDIA and gaming. Let me just show you what they see as their total addressable markets, 35 billion in data center, 32 billion in PCs, 12 billion in gaming. So, um, and this is where they're gonna eat Intel's lunch because they're, they're, you know, they're ready with the seven nanometer technology. By the way, um, you know, I did another piece of content this week to give a shout out to my colleague, Dan LeBeau, and I call him the tech analyst who screamed by TSM at 50. TSM is obviously Taiwan Semiconductor and they are, you know, they're the foundry that is, has the ability to make sub 10 nanometer chips for Apple, for NVIDIA, for AMD. And now, and Intel, who's always tried to do everything in house, now will have to contract uh, uh, Taiwan Semi to get down to the, the sub 10 nanometer scale, um, you know, where. So that's why I call it a tectonic shift measured in nanometers, just occurred in semiconductors. Taiwan Semi and AMD, the big winners, obviously Intel, um, you know, falling behind Moore's law, as, as Dan LeBeau says. But Dan LeBeau has been, was bullish on, on Taiwan Semi all year. You know, you had plenty of, you keep, he kept reiterating it during the Corona crash, you know, to buy it at 50 uh, as a long-term winner. And he nailed that one. Right, so back to the, uh, the AMD investor presentation. I uh, just wanted to see if there's anything else, else good in this deck. Um, yeah, there's a ton of good stuff. Uh, but what I'm going to do is is switch to the slides that I pulled for uh, from the longer corporate presentation to sort of highlight. Look at how AMD has a roadmap to five nanometers. That's where we're going next, folks. Uh, NVIDIA already has something secret in the works going down to the five nanometer scale. And remember, a nanometer is a billionth of a meter. Um, and uh, uh, for, for your reference, the coronavirus is over 50 nanometers big, and we're building transistor architecture on a sub 10 nanometer scale right now. Um, so that's where things are going. So here's AMD's uh, GPU architecture roadmap, uh, compute DNA for the data center. So you can see where they're going. And uh, you know anybody who didn't understand this, you know, it was surprised by how AMD is raising guidance here and they're gonna do 30 to 40% revenue growth in the next few quarters. Uh, another look at their, uh, their data center focus. Here's the uh, data center GPU lineup. Um, uh, Radeon are the, is the big hardware there, you know, comparable to uh, NVIDIA's new Ampere technology which just replaced Volta and, and NVIDIA's uh, uh, A100 board now has 54 billion transistors. I don't know what's in a Radeon um, uh, stack, but uh, I will find out. Uh, they've got uh, big cloud customers. Let's, let's take a look at all of them here. Now you can see them all, yeah. Uh, everybody wants to use both NVIDIA and AMD hardware. Maybe they like, you know, just having, um, you know, uh, dissimilar redundancy, right? <laughs> uh, and that's and that's how you get it by buying the best of the GPU chips from both NVIDIA and AMD. So AWS, Google, Microsoft Azure, the big, the big uh, cloud guys are all using AMD chips. So let's uh, keep going here. Um, here's the data center roadmap. Again, they're looking at, uh, you know, they've got a, a series of of architectures they call Zen, which is going to five nanometers. 
And look at this. <laughs> so you want to talk about eating Intel's lunch in PCs and laptops. Here it is. Ryzen 135 new notebooks are coming in 2020 using Ryzen chips. So, you know, AMD already went out and sold um, sold the hardware. And, and so the analysts really should have seen this coming. Uh, here's a look at the accelerated notebook momentum. And so you can see what AMD is able to, to achieve there. All right, so just wanted to give you that quick snapshot of how, how you know, AMD is surprising everybody. And, uh, you know, it's been a big long-term winner for us here at Zaxx in the, in the blockchain innovators portfolio. Um, but it looks like there's strong growth ahead. And, uh, and believe me, uh, if, 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 if AMD pulls back at all the 70 bucks, it's going to get, it's going to get scooped up because you don't just, you don't see that kind of growth from a semiconductor maker unless they're, you know, killing it in all these advanced areas, uh, like the data center, um, et cetera. All right. Thanks for joining me in the kitchen. We'll talk to you next week.